And the question is, is Kong wrong? Let's find out. What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Rifles, and today we'll be looking at the Kong Studios Vegito from Dragon Ball Heroes. This figure was brought to you by someone on our Discord, Carlitos. Thank you so much for purchasing this at www.dstartoys.com, your level source for awesome action figures. Link in the description down below. He offered this figure for me to review. Thank you very much, Carlitos. Now, Let's go into the review right away. If you want to know exactly how I feel about this figure, I'd have to say it's pretty good. Now at first, when I first opened him up, I noticed that there were some things wrong with him. So let's look at that real quick. Uh, so you just get this right out, right out the door, no messing around. My issue with this thing is they painted the sleeves and the shirt and it just doesn't look right to me. I think that's the biggest issue I have with this. Um, and the minor issue that I have with it is they are using the exact same body as the Kong uh, Goku, Whis Goku. And I can tell because of the way the midsection looks right here. And I never really liked that part of this Goku. It just looks so weird and he has that same problem. But besides that, I think for what you get, you're paying like uh, almost uh, 50 bucks for this figure and you do get a lot. You get two heads, which most of the time SH Figure Arts doesn't give you two heads and different face plates at that and a lot of extra hands all in this tight little package and I absolutely love this figure and it looks really good. Now that that's out of the way, now we can go into paint detail, articulation scale and accessories. First things first, let's talk about the paint. So when it comes to this figure, like I said before, they definitely painted the shirt on. It doesn't look like it's a, a raised shirt. It just kind of looks fake, and that is my biggest issue. But you know what? Despite that, I have to say the orange does look really good. In fact, the black gi actually looks really nice as well with the blue belt looking really sharp. And one thing that I notice about this figure in general, the, the, the feel of it feels airbrushed. This feels like a custom action figure that someone took and they painted it and stuff like that. And how would I know? I airbrush a ton. So that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like they airbrushed it and then they give it, they gave it kind of like a, a matte finish on it. It doesn't feel natural, you know what I mean? Like whenever you hold like an SH Figure Arts, you don't get that kind of like sandy feel or finished feel. It kind of just feels plain. And you know what? That's fine. I don't mind the fact that this kind of feels like a custom figure because it it looks really good. <laughs> There's no issues with the paint and detail on this whatsoever. It does look absolutely fantastic. And I love the matte finish on it, and they did a really good job. One thing I also have to point out is the faces actually look really, really good. They're different. They don't quite look like the SH Figure Arts ones, but you know what? That's fine. I am fine with that. These actually look really good. We'll look more into those faces when we go into the accessories. So that's it when it comes to paint detail, I have to say, looks really sharp. Um, no paint defects on mine, by the way. I know that Kong had issues with the Vegeta, the shirtless Vegeta. As you can see here, my crotch does not look like it is missing paint on my figure. <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy stands. And of course, we're going to compare it with other SH figures. This guy is standing at six and a half inches tall from the very tippy top of his blue hair. Um, let's see how he looks compared to other SH figure arts. So here is full power Goku that was released this year. As you can see these two do scale really well together. No issues there. And we have a demoniacal fit Vegito. Now if you're wondering, hey Dex, what, are you gonna bring out the exclusive Vegito that was released last year? Unfortunately, uh, I left it at home, so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put out as much as I can, and, and that's all I can really do. So, my bad. But we do have. Look at this, guys. The this is an old figure, and we're talking like 2014 here. Here is the original. Uh, actually, no, and this is not 2014. This is the exclusive. My bad. Um, this is 2016, I believe. Someone correct me down in the comments down below. Here is Vegito Blue. Uh, or oh no, 2017, 20, 20, it's, 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 it's one of those years. 
Uh, yeah, I got this at Comic-Con. As you can see, that's the original version 1 body, and that's how all three of them stand. Now, let's look at the Kong Whis Goku. And I can tell that they definitely um, have improved in terms of quality. It, it, While it does have the same body, it does have a little bit of differences here. Uh, mostly in the musculature. I can tell that Goku's arms are a little bit bigger than Vegito's. So, there you go. Now let's get some Marvel Legends in here. We have Worthy Cap. And of course, Wolverine. Hold on. Let's do that again. Wolverine and Worthy Cap. So that's how he is. Let's look at articulation. If you're wondering, hey, is this guy going to be different than any other version 2 body as a trigger arts? The answer to that is no. It is pretty much the same thing. And let's look at that. So we have an up and down here at the... Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is really tight. Yeah, so the up and down at the toe is really tight on mine. We have a ball joint here at the ankle. We have that double jointed knee right there looking really solid and of course we have the version 2 hip joints right there which gives it really nice and solid kicks as you can see looking really good lots of nice kicks right there also this figure is really tight no loose joints on mine and of course we have the two midsection joints right there so awesome ab crunch right there and we have butterfly joints on the shoulders right there as you can see, this is orange. Ah, you know what? I think I would have preferred this black so it looks more uh, flush. Whereas this orange kind of just looks weird. Because then you have black, orange, black, and that that yeah, it doesn't it doesn't cut it for me. I think they should have just painted these joints black. Anyway, back to it. We have a bicep swivel, and then we have to a uh, elbow joint, double elbow joint right there, and a bomb peg here at the wrist and. Two joints right here in the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. He's really articulated. You can get all kinds of poses. Look at that. He already looks really good. Just look, just by doing a, a fighting pose, looking really solid. Let's get some kicks in. We got that side kick. We got that front kick. Let's see how high. I know a lot of you guys say in the comments, "Hey, can you really stretch out this figure? See its full potential?" Okay, we're gonna do that today. That's as high as I can get that front kick. Let's see the range of motion on his arms right here. Let's see how far it goes back before it pops out of the joint. And then I have to have my editor edit this part out. But no, actually, no, that wasn't too bad to put back in. But anyway, uh, that's as far as it goes in terms of range of motion on the arms. It seems like the sleeves are getting in the way of the shoulder joints. So that's how it looks. Uh, I think most SH figure arts have this kind of issue as well. As you can see on this full power of Goku right here, he also cannot stretch out these arms all the way out. So that's pretty common. Sure, you can test right there. Sidekick again. And of course, we got to do the superhero landing pose. And this is a pose that I like to do with all my figures because it activates a majority of the joints. So let's see how well he can do it. So there we, we go. We got bent toe on this foot. And everything is pretty much activated right here. Uh, he can't really look up that much when you're trying to do this pose. So there you have it. Now let's go to the accessories. Let's go to the top cam right now. Let's see what we're looking at here. So like I said before, you do get a really nice amount of accessories, which is really cool. You get a slew of extra hands. Um, you don't get the Spirit Blade, unfortunately, which is kind of sad. It would have really completed this set, but you know what? That's fine. You do get a lot of accessories regardless. We get a power down head right here that looks really, really good. We're going to look close at this stuff in just a second. And you do get three extra face plates with this head. That's really cool. And also, you get extra face plates for the uh, Super Saiyan blue head and not to mention you do get a much thicker belt sash right there that looks really solid so you do get quite a bit of stuff with this usually you don't get a second head with most SH figure arts now let's do a quick test here let's go to the front back to the front cam and we can see what we're looking at here let's focus up so what you do it's much like the um, SH figure arts exclusive Vegito that was released last year I believe you have to remove the bangs part so you can put the other parts of the hair. So 
Let's look at the, let's look at all of them. We're gonna look at all the faces here. You gotta be a little bit thorough with this part. And they all look really good, as you can see here. Here's a grinning face, looking really detailed, really nice. It looks like Vegito, as it should. Um, and then we have this face right here. Uh, this is a more neutral face. I like this one too. This looks really solid. No issues. And of course, we have a yelling face. Right here. That looks really good. Right there. That looks really nice. So, uh, oh, I did come across a problem when I first opened this. So, here, let's pull the head off. So, when I got this head, what you need to do is get your micro pliers. If you guys have been following me for quite a while, you know, I always recommend having a pair of these. And this socket right here in the neck is a little bit too small for the neck joints. So, to prevent damage, this is what I recommend because it's fairly soft plastic. You take this and then you stretch it out a little bit, like that, like that up and down, left and right, and that allows it to pop in much easier. If you do not do this, you will really push that in and it might damage your neck joint and you'll have to go to D-Star Toys to get another neck joint. And you know, that's more hassle for you. I don't want you to have that hassle. So I'm glad you're here watching this so you know exactly what to do when stuff like that happens. So micro pliers, like I said, and stretch out that socket so you can get the head in. Now, let's look here. Looking really cool. Look at that. He's yelling. He's screaming. He's like, ah, it's looking really good. And it also, it kind of has like that chocolate brown as it should be. Um, and let's see here. Then let's move on. This, these, um, these powered down faces, face plates, they kind of give more of a, a Vegeta vibe than a Goku vibe. Whereas I feel the um, the blue one gives more of a Goku vibe. So, anyways, yeah. See, it kind of has like that Vegeta grin. And there, that looks really cool right there. Look at that. That looks really, really awesome. I really like what they did here. Um, I thought Kong was just going to, like, not do a good job on their faces. But I have to say, they did a really good job here, I think. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And there we go. Here's another grinning face. Did I do that one? Anyway, here's the yelling face. You always got to take out the banks to switch them out. There's the yelling face right there. And last but not least, we're going to go with a neutral face right here. Okay, there you have it. So kind of like a smirking neutral face. So there you have it. I, I tested out all the head. We're going to look at the hands at the end of the video. I think the last thing we're going to look at here is the sash, which you get like this same thing with Goku. Um, the Whis Goku from Kong. There you have it. I think that looks a lot, a lot better, actually. I'm going to keep that one. So there you have it. That looks really, really good. So let's come up with a conclusion of the Dragon Ball Heroes Vegito from Kong Studios. Is this worth your $50? Well, if you like the, the way he looks, there's nothing really wrong with that. I mean... It's not, I don't know, is Dragon Ball Heroes even canon? <laughs> this is more of like a custom looking Vegito. If you like that, I do. Then this figure is pretty cool looking. I have to say, I love the fact that he comes with two extra heads and a bunch of hands and stuff like that. Really solid. Also, the packaging is really nice and compact. I really like that too. Much easier to ship at tstartoys.com. Let me tell you, sometimes it's tough to fit an SH figure arts in a box or finding the correct box. So... That's really nice that they, they were very considerate in giving us a box like this. No window, though, which, you know, that's fine. Overall, I have to say his paint detail looked really good, despite the issues that I stated before. No issues with the heads and stuff like that. So I have to say, yeah, absolutely. If you like the way this guy looks, I highly recommend him. If you're looking to pick him up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
watch it. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here.